Hello friends, Steve Murphy with you once again as we look at the stars fast approaching the end of August. We're into our last few days of the month, so we're looking at this forecast today as of Monday the 28th of August, and quite a few planets are retrograde at the moment, so many of you will be probably feeling like you're facing delays or restrictions. We also have Mercury going retrograde on Thursday, which will be for about two or three weeks. So be careful of signing any documents or just mull it over. Don't be too quick to rush into any agreements at the moment. Certainly plenty of discussions that are going on. If you can do them uh, before Wednesday, great. But after Wednesday, take a little bit more caution with anything that you're entering into, even contracts or agreements. Let's look at all the stars forecast for this week and moving forward. We do have a shift on Wednesday with the sun moving out of our current sign, which is in Leo. It will move into Virgo. And uh, it's a big week for both of your signs and also the signs that are opposing Leo, Aquarius and also Pisces. So let's have a look at all the signs as of Monday the 21st of August. Aries, by talking things over with others, you'll be able to make adjustments that will better suit you. And again, there's been some delays around you or perhaps some restrictions. Some of you may not even be sure uh, with where you're heading. A lot of you are, but you're just sort of taking your time with things at the moment. You want to be extra certain. And uh, over these next few weeks, there's a fair bit of duty and responsibility coming in around you. You'll enjoy this Aries, but you're just making some arrangements with others to better accommodate and suit you. Look out for agreements right through this week up until Thursday, Monday through to Thursday. The mood will lighten up for you on Friday coming into the weekend, but this week it's all about adjustments. Good luck, Aries. Taurus, this week for you, very powerful stars around you at the moment, and this week can be very worthwhile as you have a special communication with others. I feel this is also going to be in the home sector, so uh, it could even be agreements with your pet. Do you talk to your pet? Does your pet understand you? I'm sure it does. So there could be some adjustments here with loved ones as well. But uh, communication is very, very important this week. And it's not serious. It's sort of special. It's meaningful for you and also for your loved ones. Very, very nice uh, lovey-dovey stars, if I could use that term, right through Monday through to Thursday. And even for singles, if you're looking for romance... Uh, always be careful, of course, with that. But uh, it looks like you've got some attraction around you at the moment. There's magnetic vibes working in your favour, Taurus. So singles look very attractive to others. And uh, also for couples at the moment, there's some meaningful and uh, nice discussions around you which could make you feel pretty special. The home is important this week, but after Wednesday... Uh, there is going to be a shift around you. The mood will lighten up, so you can expect some invitations around you. And again, uh, this also consolidates the thinking of romance coming in around you. There, I would say, there's going to be some uh, love interests around you, Taurus, both for singles and for couples. So watch out for this loveliness that's going to happen around your relationships, all of your relationships. The mood is light over these next few weeks. Enjoy. I'll be telling you more over the next few reports. Gemini, this week for you, as of the 21st of August, you've heard that saying, you're in. Well, it applies to you for over many weeks. And this week, also, you could feel a, a certain connection with others. I feel this has more of a male vibration to it. It's, it's not a heavy vibration. It's a well-connectedness. And it's almost like mateship. You can have that with a woman as well. But uh, this special connection here, Gemini, and it's going over the next few weeks. Plenty of communication here. Look out for progressive plans. You may want to be involved. You may think about it twice. And, of course, with Mercury in the mix, which is going retrograde uh, from this week, from Thursday moving forward, you may want to just consider a few suggestions or direction 
Some of you will be enthusiastic about it, but just take a seat and have a think about where you're heading at the moment. This is about you. Do you want to be involved, Gemini? Do you want to commit yourself? Because you are primarily what's important here first. If you're able to organise yourself, you then can accommodate others. So just take this on board. It's an interesting thing with you because you can do five things at once and you know exactly what you're doing with every project as opposed to others who may not be so committed. But this is the magic of your sign being ruled by Mercury. But here it is, your ruling planet, it's going retrograde after Thursday. So just consider, as you will, uh, everything that you're doing at the moment. But uh, plenty of situations here and meetings where you'll feel like you're in or you're involved. Nice week for you. You're pretty busy. I'll be telling you more over the next few reports. Good luck, Gemini. Cancerians. This week could prove to be extra enjoyable for you, and from Wednesday moving forward, you can build up your network of associations. Think carefully, though, about signing any contracts or agreements. This could end, be even tax, it could be loans, it could be any form of negotiation, even with a neighbour. Couldn't be too serious. Whatever it may be, could be business, could be anything, but just be careful with anything you're signing. It's not overly important to share that with you. It's only over the next three to four weeks. A sister here or a, a person who feels like a sister to you can also be important. I feel there's some enjoyable terms or conditions or happy moments coming around this individual. Plenty of communication with you. And many of you could be changing or upgrading your phones. I don't think this is computers. I feel this is more phones around you and plenty of communication. It's the written and the spoken word, but it more comes around phone equipment. So even be careful of losing your phone. That's what a Mercury retrograde can do. It can also delay you with your communications. But I, I think this is something to do more with phones. So you could be upgrading something of an electronic nature. You've got some very nice days ahead this week. Monday through to Thursday are your best days. So there's a block of four days there for you. You'll probably be a little bit scattered with your direction because there could be some invitations here, plenty of romance or just lovely thoughts for you, Cancerians. It's got a, a nice vibration to it this week. Enjoy. Leo, this week for you, as of Monday the 21st, and we've got three more days left of where the sun is in your sign, you should be feeling a little bit invigorated with the sun that's been around you. Happy birthday to many of you, and over these last three days of where the sun is in your sign, you're currently going over all plans and arrangements and making sure that everything is in order, whatever that may be, could be a raft of things. But this week, your home is your sanctuary. And uh, we're looking at uh, most of the days of this week. There could be some invitations, but think more about yourself, Leo, at the moment, rather than being everything to everybody. I don't think you're setting out to do that. But there's plenty on your plate here, and you may be accommodating others or working on plans about other people, but think more about yourself and your own energy. Find some time to relax if you can. You're, you're just busy, 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 busy here at the moment, Leo, and I don't think that's going to subside. Over the next few days, you will be starting to think more seriously about your finances. How are they traveling? How are you organizing them? Are you happy with this or that with your money? And this is where the focus is going to turn. Now, how can the stars reflect something so accurately? Well, when I'm looking at it, I get these feelings that come to me from up above. And uh, there's nothing set in concrete, of course, with the stars. Generally, for a lot of people, they view it as entertainment. But if you get it right, you've certainly got an audience. And I thank you for listening in to me. I'm going to say something here to you, Leo, which is very unusual. How's your eyesight now, that represents vision. How do you project yourself through what you see? And if you are visually impaired, you must get a feeling about what you see. So all these things are interconnected. So where do you see yourself traveling at the moment? That's what I want to say. 
On the other side of that, from a material point of view, it could be getting new glasses or getting your eyes checked. But this is about where you see yourself going at the moment. So I'll just leave you with those collective words and you can mull those over over the next few days. It's not too serious. It's just a thought from my end. But I'm telling you here, that you're looking at where you're going and it could be through your glasses. Do you need to have your eyes checked at the moment? Anyway, we'll see how that unfolds for you. Good luck, Leo. Virgo, coming up this week for you, the sun will move into your sign from Wednesday over many weeks. You'll be glad that it has. This has been a bit of a an unusual year. There's so much planetary activity happening around you, Virgo, and a lot of it's retrograde. It's not a problem, it's just a natural course of events which does, when it's in your sign, of course, when it's happening, all this retrograde planetary activity, you'll be tending to think things over. Just don't let it turn to too much soul-searching. You're a good sign, and I don't say that in a patronising way. You're a very focused sign. You do things where things work better when they're faced with system and order and routine. That's the very nature of you. It's in your DNA, Virgo. But with all these planets that are retrograde around you, and even in Pisces, your opposite sign. Again, there's planets there. Saturn, the big school teacher planet of system and order and routine, it's also retrograde at the moment for many, many weeks. And also Neptune over many months. So through partnerships, you may be feeling sometimes you're facing restrictions or even delays. Uh, don't be too disturbed by this over the next few weeks and months. Just sit back and, and relax and enjoy your own company. So where are we now where the sun moves into your sign? You should be feeling a, bolst, a bolster here to your energy and your enthusiasm. Here is the sun. What does the sun represent? An illumination. So here it's shining on you, Virgo, in your sign. And you're feeling warm, like the sun wants you to feel. And you're feeling lit up. People are noticing you. So you've come out of this sabbatical, if you wish, or just this area where you've wound down a little bit. It's made you do a lot of thinking about where you're heading and where you've come from, where you are now, and it's allowing you to shine this light where the sun is. Where are you? Where are you heading? What do you want to do? And with all these planets that are retrograde, it's just allowing you to not be rushed, just think more a little bit about where you're going and what you're doing. It's a great thing to tell you, Virgo. I'm, I'm thrilled to be telling you about this because over the next few weeks, things are looking up for you. This week, Monday, well into Friday, so the whole week, really, it's all about communication, calls, texts, communication with others, perhaps even overseas, but I feel it's going to be more domestically in your inner circle brothers, sisters, even people who appear to be like to you, good close friends, plenty of communication going on. So accept any invitation that's coming to you this week, Virgo, or put them out yourself because you'll be warmly received and you'll enjoy the conversations that are going to come in around you. This week, look out for a boost to your energy and your enthusiasm, and some of you may be receiving a reward or even a small gift from others. Good luck, Virgo. I'll be telling you more over the next few weeks. Libra, beautiful Libra. And it's lovely to talk to you, Libra, because you're ruled by Venus. You're a very attractive lot and uh, you have this balanced nature. And if you're not balanced, you'll feel out of sorts <laughs> and you can take... You can take offence, you can want to feel like you want to hibernate from others because no one understands you, and but you won't be in that situation for too much longer because you, your very nature is to be out there meeting and greeting people. You're the sort of sign I would put on the front desk at a hotel. There's just something pleasant about you, Libra, and always be mindful of that. And perhaps some of you already recognise that, which is why you yourself in an environment where it becomes a buffer from the outside world. You make it comfortable and very pleasant. How many times do people go into your home, Libra, and they say, gee, it's nice in here, or I feel at home. And that's the very sort of environment that suits you, Libra. 
But let's get on to your sign for this week. Can you feel a little more busier this week with duty and responsibility? I think this has been around you for most of August and it's going to continue here. You seem busy, not just with your own affairs, but with the affairs of other people. And don't be surprised if you get some coming in around you, if you're in a working role or you're well connected, there could be people that are keen to have you involved in some sort of a new plan or a new project here, Libra. Uh, You may be in two minds about it. Some of you could even be overwhelmed. You're certainly, wow, where's this heading moment? Uh, what am I going to be doing? But it's you're not alone here. You're involved with others. No man is an island. Uh, but you, Libra, are going to be involved in some sort of new project here. And uh, you may be thinking twice about it, but it, it actually has a bit to do with your future. And it's good. So don't be overwhelmed by it. And uh, just take it on board and allow yourself, afford yourself the time and the patience to be involved here. Because I think something coming up for you is very, very worthwhile. This week, for the bulk of the week, you'll be thinking about your money. So whether this is investments or how much money you have in the bank, it could also be winnings from something. Is it a gamble? Uh, But it's also you putting your feelers out. Many of you who are working, there could be bonuses in store here. You could be being considered here for more money coming in. Or this project that I'm talking about could also be financially beneficial to you. But uh, this week's about money, and I think that it's going to be a good thing for you. Nutshell here. This is the nutshell. There is a new plan that is in the pipeline. So keep your aerials out there and your awareness fired up because something is coming to you that's going to be in your favor, despite you being a little bit apprehensive. And I know why you could be. It's because your ruling planet Venus is retrograde until the 4th of September. Watch what happens after the 5th and the 6th of September. You're going to get your mojo back. It's not that you haven't got it at the moment, but you'll be thinking about this new plan. More to tell you in future reports. Good luck, Libra. Scorpio, lots of exciting things happening around you at the moment, and perhaps you just want to <laughs> perhaps you just want to go to bed and curl up. Take me away from all of this. It's too much happening. Uh, but there's things here that are happening Let's look at your bigger picture. For those of you who are working or you're in a career sense and you're very focused in this area, you're clever, Scorpio. I don't say that to patronize you. You are clever. You don't let people know about this, but you think very, very deeply about things and people, situations. You don't just rush into it. And if they don't work in your favor, you can sometimes well and deservedly think you're dealing with people who are just not on your side. That can be, but it may not. But at this particular moment, uh, it is about your networks. Are you servicing your networks as well as you could? Are they receiving you as well as what they should be? So all these things you'll be looking at over the next few weeks. Some of you are not even in business. Some of you could be retired. But it still affords you this moment of where you're being well connected. It's very, very important for you. Not overly important, but it is still important because you must remain connected at the moment. You're going to be giving a great deal of thought about yourself and your own plans at the moment and your own well-being. See, perhaps it's even your health. Are you traveling along well? Are you feeling as good as what you would like to be? Just think about yourself at the moment, Scorpio, because everything else is going to take care of itself. We've got a lot of planetary activity around you at the moment, which is, like for everybody, it's retrograde. So uh, it's it's also making you just think about where you've been, where you are, and where you're heading at the moment. Don't overly think about it, but just, just think about yourself and your well-being this week. Everything else will take care of itself. Just one more thing. There could be something of a jewellery nature, whether this is watch, a chain, a ring, or something special coming to you, whether you're going to reward yourself this, or it could be a token of appreciation from another. Uh, This is going to be around many of you. Good luck. Sagittarius, this week for you, as of the 21st of August, if a restriction or a limitation is around you, it's only temporary. 
and will soon lift. I see you in discussions here, Sagittarius, with another. There's going to be a new arrangement coming out uh, through an agreement with another. And it's, it's not overly important, but it's just something that settles the air. So whether you've been a little bit worried about how things are not going along as smoothly as what you would like, or there's a bit of anxiety in the air as to how everything is going to work out, ignore all of this because they're peripheral thinking that can be quite damaging and therefore can cause stress. So just know that any discussions or agreements that are coming up with another, uh, something is going to work out to be a better arrangement for you, and especially coming into the month of September. Uh, we have got the planet Venus, which is retrograde. It does affect you financially, and you it is retrograde at the moment. So after the 5th and the 6th of September, uh, I feel there's going to be a meeting with somebody, whether this is a, a healthcare professional, something, somebody in not so much power, but somebody who's compatible with their thinking of you and with you, I feel this is going to be something of a rewarding nature or something that's going to make you feel comfortable within your mind, Sagittarius. So uh, just be at ease at the moment. A discussion with another is going to afford you of a new arrangement, and that's the good thing to tell you. Capricorn, let's look at you from Monday, the 21st of August. Despite being busy, take time out for total relaxation when you can. I think there's just a few more days of this left. There's going to be a change around Wednesday or Thursday. It's subtle as it's entering, and you may even feel it from the earlier part of the week, Capricorn. Uh, but there's going to be meetings coming up here if they haven't happened already. Certainly, it's like looking into the skies and you see an aircraft. And there's a few of them flying around me at the moment as I do this report for you. I can hear them in the background, so perhaps it's an omen, seeing that I'm talking to you about your sign at this moment, and that particularly has to happen. But it's like looking into the skies and you see an aircraft, and it's not threatening, it's just there. And so are these discussions that are in the air, or thought processes. Perhaps you're thinking about them with other people, or they with you. But there is an agreement here, and it seems just like a speck in the universe at the moment. But as it nears towards you, it's going to become bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's going to be something that you'll be looking at and thinking, well, that could have potential, this idea or this plan. How much do I want to be involved with it? And the reason why you're thinking about it is because there's so much planetary activity around you, even your ruling planet, Saturn, whilst it works in your favour, it's feared by a lot of people, uh, but it actually works in your favour. Planet Saturn is so powerful, and it's retrograde at the moment over many, many weeks, but it's making you a little bit more committed and uh, serious in your thinking, and it's also bringing in new plans and new ideas for you at the moment. So, this, of course, is going to be with another party or another interest. could be an investment of sorts. And it could be very, very rewarding for you, Capricorn. So look out for this new plan on this new direction. I th feel it's going to take any form of motion from now, from this week on. This week is important for your relationships, and but more so your friends and any of your networking. So if you have people and I'm sure you do, uh, that you're well connected with, even people at a distance, you're on their radar at the moment, and uh, perhaps you're considering getting in touch with people as well. Uh, you could find yourself getting noticed more than usual, and uh, you're certainly on the uh, radar with other people, so watch out for extra communication. Nothing serious. It looks to be quite friendly here, so there could be some invitations coming your way as well. Good luck, Capricorn. Aquarius, always good to read for you, Aquarius, like it is for all of our signs. Partnerships in all of their forms are important for you, and from this week, look out to make adjustments with mutual agreement. That's a nice thing to tell you, isn't it? Even with Mercury retrograde, the communication planet, it's going to move retrograde on Thursday, uh, but it won't stop you from making communication with others 
I feel a lot of these partnerships that you have, even your own relationships, there's something here, if we're looking at it on the platform of life, and it wants to rise up, it's about to go to the next level around you, Aquarius, and I feel there's going to be some nice conversations here, supportive conversations, which will be pleasant to your ears. There's something from a working perspective here. If it's in a career role or a working role here, uh, something is going to come here that's a new arrangement or there's going to be a, a talk of a perhaps a promotion or something where you're enthusiastically involved here. I feel it's busy, so it's not going to lighten the load here as such. It could be a little bit more work, but it's work that you enjoy and you'll enjoy with this great deal of enthusiasm. It's your inner spirit here is being called. This is what you're meant to do. This is what I want to do. This is where I want to head. That's the mantra here that's going on around you, Aquarius. What an unusual thing to tell you, what I'm going to tell you now. Flowers might not mean a lot of things to people. I talk about this a lot, uh, even the garden. But it can be a sanctuary for many of you. And to look at a pleasant bowl of flowers or something that you're curating or looking after yourself, it can be very pleasing to the soul. So it could even be vegetables that you're growing or something you're taking pride in from a natural perspective. Gardens, flowers, trees, whatever they are. Get in touch with them or even buy yourself a nice big vase of flowers. Smell them, roses, look at them, enjoy them. Because it's a reflection of where you're heading at the moment, Aquarius. What a nice thing to tell you. The universe is about to reward you and it's setting out to work in your favour despite what appears to be a lot of restrictions or delays or even a sense of exhaustion around you at the moment. But look out for <clears throat> you going to the next level or the next step here. People are thinking very warmly about you, Aquarius, and I feel there's going to be some invitations around you that are going to invite you to go to the next level over the next few weeks and months. This could have a female vibration to it or it's got a feminine energy so uh, look out for this. Good luck, Aquarius. Pisces. You've got two big planets in your sign at the moment, and they're both retrograde. So here we have Saturn and Neptune. And you're probably feeling like, why has everything come to a halt? Why aren't I feeling enthusiastic? Well, this is only temporary, so don't let it set in too much. You're like a a speeding train, and it's not just a goods train, some old trucks on the tracks of life. This is a very handsome-looking train. It's it's stylized. It's got a sense of glamour about it and dreaminess. I sound like I'm waxing lyrical here with you, Pisces, but, you know, when we look at it from a metaphor sense, there is something that's quite amazing about you a little bit reserved from other people. You are a very different sign. But just let's look at you as the train on the track of life. It is in the station at the moment, for want of a word. It's not travelling, it's just sitting there. Perhaps it's waiting for a few passengers to get on. Um, but it's preparing itself, and it's shining itself up. And this is what you are doing at the moment. You're shining yourself up and dusting a few things off and making sure you're exercising well, you've got the the mind and the body and the spirit in order for the next big trip as such. So are many of you thinking about going somewhere, going places, wanting to explore your local area, perhaps into the hills or perhaps into the state or even overseas? Well, let's put that aside because that's what's happening in the background. But I'm going to change subject here with you, Pisces. Love, romance, and togetherness is strongly indicated for both singles and couples. What a wonderful thing to tell you. You'll be happy to hear this. Your stars forecast a very special bond with others over many weeks. So look out for a spike in romance. And if this is not happening, happening with an individual, it's happening with a subject matter. What do you love to do? What What's something from a creative perspective? Or where you can really express yourself? Look out for this over the next few weeks because it's quite a pleasant thing to tell you. Uh, for any of you who are in education, university, perhaps religion, or in deep studies, even on 
the internet, social media platforms, or publishing. Look out for growth in this area and going to the next level. Despite all this planetary activity that's going in around you, you're polishing up your act. Remember that train in the station of life where you are at the moment? It's a very good-looking train. It's just getting itself ready for the next big journey. Think about that, Pisces. I'll be telling you more about this. You're a great sign, and it's a, a lovely thing to tell you over the next few weeks and months ahead. You've got some exciting things happening, despite heading in a long-term new direction from this moment on. Have a great week. Well, that's the stars for this week. Don't worry about all this planetary activity and with Mercury going retrograde from Thursday. It's just making us check what we're doing and thinking twice about where we're heading at the moment, but it's all heading in a positive direction, ultimately. That's the stars for this week as of the 21st of August. I'm Steve Murphy, looking forward to talking to you again next week, friends. And I'll leave you with my favourite saying, as always, what you want, it does want you too. Bye now.